No doubt there are as many reasons to be sad at Christmas as there are people who are sad at Christmas. One reason for everybody, and some people can find many. Listen, I want to encourage you today, this coming Friday at Mount Hope Congregational Church, we're going to be having a blue Christmas service at 7 p.m. Uh, our time, Eastern time. I'm going to do my best to live broadcast that, or at the very least, I'll also put it up uh, afterwards as a recorded video of the service. And anybody who's able to come, I want to invite you and encourage you to come out Friday night, 7 p.m. on the 21st at Mount Hope. Listen, among those reasons people are struggling to find joy at Christmas, among those reasons are things like having lost a baby in infancy, perhaps a stillbirth, a miscarriage, a miscarriage at any point along the pregnancy is a great destruction to the promise of joy to come in that new life. You know, I, I don't know how it is that so many people find it so difficult to talk to those who have miscarriages or lose a baby, or perhaps who, who have uh, been looking forward to adoption and the adoption falls through. That's a kind of similar pain that can stay with a person. You build up the expectation of hope and then, and then there's this great disastrous disappointment. And I don't know why it is that so many of us find it so difficult to talk to someone in those circumstances. We say a lot of clumsy things that are hurtful and that they remember. We say things like, oh, it'll be okay. And, oh, something new will come along. Without recognizing the, the depth of the pain of that loss. Listen, I want to invite you today, if you're someone who's walking alongside someone who's suffering with that kind of weight, that kind of mourning, that kind of constancy of disappointment, better to say nothing than to say something clumsy. In fact, it's better to simply mourn with those who mourn and grieve with those who grieve, as the Word of God tells us. And if you're someone this Christmas season who is suffering under that weight, I want to encourage you that it's okay to be sad. It's okay if you have any question as to whether God is comfortable with our sorrow, just look at the Psalms and how often the psalmist cries out to God from a deep place of despair. Oh God, rescue me from this pit. Or just read the Old Testament and you're going to find example after example of people tearing their clothes, sitting in ashes, mourning, lamenting. It's okay to mourn, to grieve, to lament. You know, in today's modern day of multitasking, many of us have been led to believe that we have to quickly move on from any burden that we bear, from any pain that we feel, from any sorrow or injustice that has afflicted us. No. God has designed us with mechanisms internally to take us through, to carry us through, to take us along. And one of those is mourning, lamenting, because we are creatures with immense minds, spirits, and hearts. And the pain of that has to be sort of handled. And you know, some of these pains are going to be with us our entire life. All we're going to learn to do is to trust God evermore. To identify with Jesus in his suffering and know that he has identified with us in ours and find a direct connection to him to carry us along. Listen to what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. In verse 5, for as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. There is a day coming of great comfort and there is an immediate presence of Christ capable, available to carry us through the suffering. But today if you're mourning, if the Christmas lights don't seem as twinkly as they ought to seem because of something like losing a child or or, 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 or an adoption that fell through, or, or anything along those lines. Maybe an adult child who's gone and you're mourning because of the lack of connection. There's a similar kind of pain that comes along with those things. I want to encourage you to find comfort in Christ this day and every day, whether that happened a week ago or 20 years ago or more. The pain of that may still feel very present. But Christ is likewise present 
And the comfort of Jesus Christ is not one that convicts us for feeling bad, but cares for us all the way through. God bless you today. Amen.